Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondant and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I'm also the author of the new book, Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey, available now on paperback, Kindle, and soon on Audible Books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondantauthor.com. Welcome to the twin flame union energies, messages for divine feminine, divine masculine, and the couple. Today is Monday. It is August 15th, 2022. How are you doing twin flame? To start, we are going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Twin Flames, Guardian Angels, let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels, please help Twin Flames around the world understand what they need to know to learn and to grow this week. So just a reminder that I do have timestamps, so if you don't want to stay through the shuffling of the cards, you can always fast forward through the timestamps. We're going to start with Divine Feminine, Twin Flames, Divine Feminines, Guardian Angels, Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels. What are Divine Feminines learning this week? Next, we are working with the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. Archangel Michael, what must Divine Feminine learn this week to grow? And finally, we're working with a World of Answers Oracle deck. And this will be a qualifier for Divine Feminine Twin Flames first. Okay, next we're going to shimmy on over to the Divine Masculines. Divine Masculines, what are you learning this week on your Twin Flame journey? Let's see some progress and healthfulness. So Divine Masculines, this is Archangel Michael is going to display a message to DMs. And finally, we're going to get from a world of answers as a qualifier. Let's move on over to the Twin Flame Couple. This is the union energies for the Twin Flame Couple for this week, starting August 15th, 2022, and moving on all the way through the week with this tarot reading for everyone involved. Let's hope we have some great energy this week. And this is for the Twin Flame Couple from Archangel Michael. And finally, a world of answers for the Twin Flame couple, and we are going to get some romance energy. Romance angels, please help Twin Flames around the world understand what they need to know. And we have a qualifier here. This is called the Messages of Love deck. It is a love deck, and we are going to qualify our romance card for Twin Flames for this week, August 15th. And finally, let's get some messages from the Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminine Twin Flame. This is messages from Divine Masculine's heart space to their Divine Feminines. So Divine Masculines, what do you have to say to your Divine Feminines this week? We're gonna get one more. Awesome, let's get started with our reading. Let's start with the Divine Feminines. I like this a lot. We've got the Dreamer card, which is the Fool card in traditional tarot. This is about Divine Feminines taking a grand leap of faith, moving forward into a new phase in life, into a new portal in life. And this is almost like you don't know what will happen, Divine Feminines, but you are ready, willing, and able to leap forward, to jump forward, to jump off that cliff. And your angels, especially Archangel Metatron, who shows up here in this card, is telling you, take a grand leap forward. This is a new phase in your life. This is a new stage in your life. And you don't have to know what's up ahead because Archangel Michael says you are guarded and protected. And God says, I have surprises for you. If you just take that leap of faith, Divine Feminine, I have surprises for you, says God. And Archangel Michael says, I have been commissioned to guard and protect divine feminines while they take a giant leap forward in their lives. Now, this could be anything divine feminines. Maybe you've been working on a creative project 
Maybe it's a passion project. Maybe it's a new business, a new job, a new career. Maybe you've been wanting to buy that new house. And God and Archangel Michael are telling you now is the time to do it. Move forward. You will be successful. Move forward. You will have what it takes because heaven's got your back on this one. Let's move over to see where Divine Masculines are at on their twin flame journey. It's funny, uh, we've got, <laughs> I don't like this card, but we've got the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Air. And this is asking Divine Masculines to get out of fear mode and to get out of self-sabotage mode and to take a giant leap forward as well. Now, it's not the same as the Dreamer card for Divine Feminines, which is really about starting a brand new chapter. I feel like for Divine Masculines, this is about finishing a chapter and moving forward in haste by let going of the fear. You have to let go of the fear because the sword's energy is an air energy and air moves fast. Right? When the wind picks up, it moves things fast. And eight of air is about divine masculines being stuck of their own fears, of their own reticence, and it's self-sabotaging behavior. So for divine masculines, what they need to do, and please excuse this card, Luna, my cat, ate this card. It says, keep your eyes on your targeted intention, divine masculines. Keep your intentions straight where you want to move forward on the right track in your life. And in order to do that, you have to move forward. You have to keep moving forward. You can't stop. You can't sit in your fears and you can't sit in self-sabotaging behavior. You just have to keep moving forward. And in order to move forward, again, it's kind of similar to the message for divine feminines. In order to move forward divine masculines, you don't have to know exactly each step of how you're going. You just have to keep your focus on your targeted intention, what you want to manifest in the end, and let your track, the train track, let the right track take you there. Let your path take you there but you need to take a leap of faith. Again, it's a different leap of faith because the leap of faith for divine feminines is just like, I'm ready to start this new chapter. The leap of faith for divine masculines is I have to step away from my own fears. I have to step away from my own self-sabotaging behaviors. And the way to do that is to keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize, divine masculine. Let's move into what's happening for the twin flame couple. Yeah, it, this is all about moving forward this week. It really is. This whole reading is about moving forward. We've got the Ace of Air, Ace of Swords, which is about a fresh start, a new beginning, again, for the twin flame couple with some brilliant ideas to take you forward, with some brilliant ideas to take you there. Now, the Ace of Swords does indicate that this is not without obstacles. Obstacles will be in the path. Obstacles will be in the way. There may be some roadblocks, but Ace of Swords says, move forward anyway. Move forward anyway. And that is doubled by Archangel Michael's message to the couple. Go forward fearlessly. Look at that. Go forward fearlessly. Go forward fearlessly. It says, thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So with this ace of swords, this new beginning for the twin flame couple, you both have to walk forward fearlessly, even though it might be scary, even though there may be roadblocks in the way, you have to move forward without fear, knowing you're protected. And amazement and childlike wonder came out because I believe this is the innocence of play. This is the innocence 
of discovery. And twin flames are discovering each other as if for the first time. <laughs> twin flames are discovering each other as if for the first time. For many of you twin flames, it has been years, or for a couple of you, it's been decades since you've seen your twin flame. And it is a discovery. It is like discovering each other for the first time once again. And that can be scary to reignite with this passion that you had that was so strong and go, well, who are you now as a person? What are you like now as a person? And that is scary, but you need to move forward fearlessly. For so many of you, this separation is ending. This, the twin flame separation is ending for so many of you. Because on top of the separation card, we have fate. This is a destined partnership. And for me, when I see the card of fate on top of the separation card, it tells me separation is ending. Separation is ending so that you may live out your divine destiny, Twin Flames. Separation is ending so that you can know how to move through this faded connection now. Now, in this current phase in your life, in this current time in your life, separation is ending for so many of you so that you may continue on your destined path. And that's why there's so much forward moving momentum. There's so many messages about forward, start, forward, moving forward, meet, moving forward even though it's hard. But there, there is so much energy in here that talks about moving forward. Now let's take a look at what Divine Masculine has to say to their Divine Feminines. I have deep and unresolved wounds. You can't fix them. I must do it. I'm just not sure exactly how. Now that is the eight of swords energy from divine masculine, but divine masculine, regardless of those wounds needs to move forward fearlessly. It's, I feel that the problem with Divine Masculine with the Eight of Swords, being stuck on an island, that's like the um, metaphor for Eight of Swords, like being stuck on an island, that you put yourself there. It's like you drove your boat onto an island, you let go of the boat, and you're staying on the island because you elected to do that. And the problem is that Divine Masculine thinks that they have to fix all of their unresolved wounds by themselves. And they don't, they really don't. They can do this with their divine feminines next to them. Some of them have some wounds that needed to be resolved before reunion, but now at the juncture where we are at as a twin flame collective right now, for many of them, it's more like they just need to get out of their own fears and their own self-sabotaging behavior as divine masculines to be able to come forward to their divine feminines and say fearlessly, I'm still wounded, but I'm here anyway. You know, getting on the right track, looking at their targeted intention going, I'm still wounded, but I'm here anyway. And Divine Masculine says, I fantasize about how life would be with you. So again, as they are stuck on their island, Eight of Swords, they're thinking about life with their Divine Feminines, but they're also thinking about their fears. So what they must do, and I feel like there's one more message that needs to come through from Divine Masculine. Uh, Divine Masculine, what else do you need to say to your Divine Feminine? This will be like a bonus message, right? What do you need to say to your Divine Feminine this week, starting August 15th, 2022? Yeah, I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense mechanism. 
and mean could just be cold, right? I don't think a lot of these divine masculines were outrightly mean. I feel a lot of the divine masculines were just cold. You know, cold, non-emotional, nonchalant. So they're really sorry about how they treated you, divine feminines. They're fantasizing about how life would be when you're finally together. And everybody involved needs to move forward fearlessly in this connection, on this journey, with things in their own respective lives because God and the angels have this handled. Archangel Michael has you guys shielded and protected. And furthermore, this is a fated connection. So your divine destiny stands in the power of what this is. It's not about your fears. It's about knowing that this is a destined and divine connection. And that is powerful, Twin Flame. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to offer all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Twin Flames. And thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or meditation course. You can also join my group coaching. The link is below. And I will see you in the next video.